we will get here a short demo how to archive and uh, display billing documents in SAP to Alfresco via Connexus. So first of all, we have to create a, um, or store a document for a billing document. So we go to the transaction VF03 and we have to choose a billing document. So let's take any of these documents here. And you see that we have chosen an invoice. We always are integrated perfectly via the so-called services for object. And here we can create and store a business document. You see here that you have cho to choose the correct document type. So in our case, this is the billing document to Alfresco via Connexus. You can double click or do a drag and drop. In my case, I double click on the document and choose an invoice to be stored. Now in the background, the document is uploaded to Alfresco and we can type in here some, it's a demo document. Okay, so the document has been stored, that's easy. Of course, this can also be done in a background job when it's so-called outgoing document, meaning SAP produces the document and on one hand can print the document and on the other side also store this via the output management to Alfresco via Connexus. So there are different kind of uh, options available. So, but in our case, we stored the document and when you want to display such a document, anyhow, if this was stored via the outgoing document archiving or as I have shown you right now here, we can check always via the services for object, take the attachment list and you see here is our billing document that we created right now. So I can, with a double click on this line, I can easily display the document. So you see the inline viewer of SAP opens and I can check here my document. So we have seen now how to list the documents that are attached to this business object in SAP and how to display. Um, you can also have here all available details which are typically available when you store these documents from the front end. So now we have seen the SAP world. Let's also have a look now to the um, Alfresco side. So on the Alfresco side, you can have different kind of uh, repository structures. Um, we set up here that we have at least um, the folder connects us where the documents arrive from SAP and um, we do at least a single separation between the systems. You can have different logical archives or different SAP systems. You see this is our SAP system where a document came from and this is exactly the document that we created right now. So we have here the archive ID and here is the final document and important information that you have here data already replicated. So this is the archive link details that we always get. And in addition, we replicated some information. You see that this is the object type. It's the billing document is our document type. And very important also, of course, here, the document number of uh, the SAP business object. So we have a chance to see uh, the related information for SAP. And you remember this, I was uh, logged in as Alfresco when I created a document. Uh, this was our description we typed in. And the file name. So we have all information also here on the um, Alfresco site. Obviously, based on this information that you have seen right now, we can create any folder structure you like. And we also have this uh, kind of information that this is linked to SAP. So that's it uh, for the short overview. If you have any additional questions, just feel free to contact me. Let me also show you how you can do the other way around. So now you have seen how we do this from SAP side, but we also can link documents that are coming to Alfresco to the corresponding SAP business object. 
Um, this might be the case if you use an external output management system. So the data stream comes from SAP, goes to an external output management system and is stored to Alfresco. Now you have to link this document back again to the corresponding SAP business object. Let me show you here um, one scenario. So I upload a file, assuming this file comes in from, uh, um, from the output management system. Um, so we, we just have to tell now this test document, um, I do some uh, changes to, to this document because now we have to tell Alfresco, come on, this document should be linked to an SAP business object. First of all, we change here the type, and these are the types available when you install Connexus, and we choose that this should become an archive link document, meaning this document should be linked to SAP. Now we have here some properties. Um, these properties typically are automatically set by the import tool or the, the output management system. So the uh, document type we have used before was the set billing and we have the claim was 800, so business object ID was this one and the business object type was VMA. So that's it, we can have here the archive, it was set T and I think that's it. So we can have uh, another description. So that you see, okay, this information, uh, as I mentioned, can be um, maintained from, from the external system when importing to Alfresco. And based on this information now, we can connect this to the SAP business object on the SAP side. Just double check here our settings. So this has been created in Alfresco, no error up to now. And now let's go back to the SAP system and check if something has happened already here on the SAP side. And you see that we now have another document that came from Alfresco. You see, this was the document from Alfresco to SAP. It was created now with my admin user on the, um, on the Alfresco side. And I also can choose here, of course, some details that we forwarded from Alfresco to SAP and obviously with a double click I can also display this document uh, that we have uh, stored to Alfresco and link to the corresponding business object in SAP. So now you have seen both sides we can store from directly from SAP to Alfresco and of course link to the uh, original object and we also can store documents from Alfresco and link them to the SAP business object. So that's it. For any additional questions, please feel free to contact me.